Taiwan Sourcing and Yunnan Sourcing. This is again a weekly special channel of Taiwan Sourcing. And uh, we are fortunately have this live video function right now on Yunnan Sourcing channel. If you can, please go to subscribe Taiwan Sourcing channel as well so we can eventually activate this function. And uh, so I can't see if whether anyone is online right now because the phone is facing me. And uh, so if I can't reply instantly, yes, I'm sorry for that. But today we're going to introduce some new tea or kind of old tea. Right? Because our overlord uh, was really benefited from our last video. And uh, I'm very glad because that was a very great tea. And now we're going to try this one as well, which is a uh, Yinxiang varietal we processed back in 2018 winter and one processed from 2018 or the 2019 spring. So these are the two teas right here. And we are again having a special guest right in the front of me right now. So we have we're having two cups over here. And we're gonna try this 2018 winter version first to see how the vintage transformation goes. And here we go, warming up the teapot slowly. So I'm not using that special technique to warm up this teapot because this particular clay called Bilio Pi Zusa is not that sensitive to the temperature yet. And using this two refined Juni teacup. Okay, warming up. This Yinxiang 2018 winter version is our second attempt to process the Yinxiang varietal from Dazhuang village. And the tea I'm using here is around uh, 6 grams. We use the, the scale over there. And as you may already know, you, you do the study on our website. The tea is a breed from Qingxin Wulong and the Jinzhuan. So it has kind of the, the, the pro and cons of from both varietal. But this one is pretty good. I'm going to warm up the tea right now. And I hope there's, there's, a, there's people watching. I really can't tell. You're in the camera. Oh, we have two viewers right now. Thanks to our director right there. And uh, happy weekend. Happy weekend here too. It's night time. Uh, okay, hold on. So I'm warming up the tea. Not cleaning, but warming up the tea. Again, most of the tea uh, we process. Actually, all of the tea we process. Or any tea you had outside from Taiwan sourcing doesn't really require any tea, the so-called tea washing practice. Uh, however, some people think it's kind of essential. We don't think so here. We do we, we do, the, do this just to warm the tea up a little bit. Yeah, you know, to keep our teapot fed evenly from the body with the lead. And by now we can already smell that uh, Kind of fruity aroma from this particular variety. It's it has the pleasantness of a Jinshuan has, but also, which is a very important, but also has a depth of Qingxin Wulong, which is the most popular variety of Taiwan. And this tea it has been uh, stored for around let me count nine months so far. So it has gone through nine months of vintage, and we'll see how it transforms uh, in a in this past nine months and see how it works. And again, don't need you don't need a lot of tea. Okay, this teapot is around 160 milliliter, and I only use six grams. Our tea is very rich in character, so you don't really have to use loads of tea. Okay, quite a waste, and you won't be fully enjoy the, the character from it because when it's too full inside the teapot the tea cannot release its proper uh, character from that uh, brutal practice I was saying and here we go now it's ready and uh, our special guest 
uh, in front of me is apparently playing with some kind of mobile game but I'm gonna invite her to drink the tea right here oh and as you can see the hole is a bit clogged with tea leaves now so I'm using tea needles to clean a bit and here we go very uh, if you like the creaminess, I won't, I won't necessarily describe milkiness, but here I would say creaminess of a, like from Jinxuan and Qinxin, I think Yinxiang, this, this variety, Yinxiang variety, welcoming aroma, that's, that's a name. It's a very great choice if you are looking for that. And here we go. Ting Yong. And again, we, we wrote all the character, the trait, the environment, the process uh, on the website already. However, uh, I can't remember it all. And I'm going to describe how this tea tastes right now for you. Although you can only watch it. You cannot necessarily smell it. Yeah, this 2018 version kind of has a bamboo-like uh, bamboo like taste, a very pleasant bamboo taste in it. And with a robust body, and with all these characters, the most contradicting part, uh, surprising part, it, it has a it has a creaminess from a uh, oolong variety like Jinjing and Jinjuan. Uh, it makes it a uh, easily enjoyed oolong tea <sighs> you want to have a cup of tea? I'm going okay and people just woke up so we don't have much fewer right now uh, it's probably 5 to 6 o'clock in the west coast around 8 a.m in the east coast and n nobody's watching it's okay because we're still gonna do this uh, and this is a, a little bit lighter fermented in from 2018 winter and again I want to emphasize again if you watch this later uh, if a wound tea is properly processed with a traditional technique we like we practice the tea will have a GABA character okay like GABA effect of GABA tea so you, if you are a fan of GABA tea you don't really need to buy GABA tea all you have to do is buy the traditionally processed wound tea like the one I'm drinking it's 8, 8 p.m. right now, and I'm still drinking this. Why? Because I'm able to sleep with it calmly. Okay, so I'm gonna do a second steep and uh, see how the second steep works. Because normally the second steep is the best. You have bring a Taiwanese woolen tea or black tea. There we go. Again, you don't need you don't really need a very long steep for the tea to you know, to be ready. There we go. And this, at the moment, I can introduce. This is a very <coughs> classical uh, leveled shaped teapot. You might already know. Uh, we call it level shaping. It's a very commonly designed uh, shape and this one is designed by uh, master Cao Jie who, who is quite young for her age her age but this one has her own touch in it with a cultural revolution style touch in it a great teapot with a great clay and again not for sale we just sell tea yes and uh, you can't find any anymore so yeah please don't ask about it Okay, second steep. 
and after this we'll be switching to the the Inxiang of this year 2019 spring again uh, all these tea like this one we're having right now uh, not only will become a great vintage tea, vintage tea in the next two three years it also has a very relaxing effect after drinking it and I'm, I'm definitely feeling it right now it's yeah I don't know if I can finish this video properly or not but we'll make it to a 2019 one very soon after I finish this one it has a bit bamboo character in it and uh, if if this tea is you know is being accepted by you and uh, your friend and your family we should be able to process another one in this winter from the same plantation which is organically grown from Da Zhong village According to my special director, we have three people watching right now, which I am very, very grateful. <laughs> I hope Scott is watching too. Scott Wilson is our uh, is our great, great boss who who helped to make all this happen, including creating all this great tea over here. Okay, so we're not going to switch to a 2019 spring version of Inxia so meanwhile I'm going to reboil the water again and I'm going to pick this tea out mm. the interesting part is normally people consider with this varietal just as a, a lightly oxidated uh, high mountain oolong style tea However, we think there are more potential with it, so that's why we decided to, you know, continuously work with this particular plantation to see what kind of taste, what kind of feeling it can deliver. We 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 don't just think it can be just another jade oolong varietal. We think with great processing in mind, it can become something truly special. Okay. All right, here we go. We're going to do the 2019 spring version. And to be honest with you, this version is better than the 2018 winter Ember Magpie. Okay, and uh, we we stay there on the website, which is a bit a little bit pricey, but just you know, not, not much more. And the why the why it is better is because this time we designed to do everything from beginning to end only by ourselves so that's why it's a bit better and uh, if you if you are curious enough to, to to try both version you might you you can instantly tell okay these two are this one is a bit superior And okay. And remember, when you are bought, when you are brewing our tea, always, always make sure your water is fully boiled. Only by do so you can fully experience the character of the tea. Okay, one hundred percent. Do not lower the temperature like most of the tea are required to. Because our tea requires a high temperature to, to drive everything out from it. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so the first tip of the Imperial Magpie, different from the Ember Magpie. Same plantation. Just the processing is now a little bit different. Just a little bit. 
Again, six rams, not much. Uh, you don't have to wait too long for it. Probably 30 to 40 seconds. Of course, you can wait longer and to see how if the tea will get bad or not. Uh, in most cases, it shouldn't become unbearable. Yeah. Okay, just by the aroma, you can instantly tell this one is is just better than Amber Magpie. And this is not saying this is not saying that Amber Magpie is a bad tea, but just, just this here we do an even greater job of in creating this tea, and we're 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 really glad. You know, we have to improve every season. We're never satisfied with our current status. Let's see how Taiwan sourcing is. Try to make the best collection for you, although not many, but we try to make every single tea as special as as it can be to deliver the full terroir, the full character, the varieto, and so on. And here we go. Now we're ready, and our special director is still playing mobile again, which is... Uh... Here we go, the tea is ready. Now let's see what her reaction is. And one thing, if you are very familiar with Gaba tea, okay, I really don't want to mention Gaba tea, but if if you are very familiar with Gaba tea, the very first thing you will notice from this Imperial Magpie is it has a little bit Gaba tea character in it, sort of. Because for this one, we do a very, very Doro fermentation for it. So this one has an even stronger calming effect for the body and mind. And it's just it's just way more powerful than Ember Magpie. If you Ember Magpie still have a little bit of that stimulating effect of tea, a little bit. However, this Imperial Magpie is uh, more like a GABA tea you want to look for, okay? And again, if you just came into this, I want to say, please, uh, don't be obsessed with GABA tea because this traditionally properly processed oolong like this cup I'm having right now uh, will have a stronger GABA effect than GABA tea because we, we control withering, we control the fermentation very very well, way superior than the GABA tea and uh, we have four fewer now uh, welcome to join this this very uh, kind of tripping tea session because it's it's 8 20 p.m in taichung right now and we're having this super relaxing tea uh, and just by aroma you can smell it for a very very long time you don't you don't want to drink it you just you just want to smell it and enjoy that aroma like you're drinking whiskey it, you don't need to really put it into your mouth to enjoy it. Oh, by the way, I hope our microphone system is better now. We have a little bit of uh, equipment problem um, for the first video. And uh, now our microphone is properly working. So I hope you guys are hearing me very well. And this spring 2019 version, Imperial Magpie process from Inxiang Varieto is, is very very unusually calming <laughs> Is it? This part is good I like a phone Okay, I'm going to do the second step, and then this video will be end. And you might notice I, I feel a bit different from the beginning of this video. It's because this tea really uh, has that strong gappa effect 
uh, yeah, uh, okay. I'm going to just brew it. Hang on. The temperature has dropped. So, reboil again. Make sure your temperature is always boiled to fully enjoy a tea. Okay, from, from, uh, from our collection. Oh, yeah. Okay, fully boiled, as you can see, very steamy. Here we go. Okay, in the mom at the moment we are waiting. Uh, let me uh, briefly introduce this uh, Juni type. If you ne you're, you're, you're not familiar with Juni, uh, so Juni is different from Zisha. Okay, so in the broad category, tech category, they're all called Zisha. But when you classify it more, much more uh, carefully, one will be classified as Zisha, one will be classified as Juni. And the, today we are all using Juni on our table here. And this is uh, these two are the best Juni you can find from Yixin back then in the 1990s. The ore is very very rare, and uh, they both they create a, a universe of their own. Oh, okay, hold on. Okay, so the tea is clocked again. This is a single hole teapot, very traditionally styled. So I'm gonna just. Use this to poke it a bit. Okay, this is the last deep. And you might notice the cup on my left, your right, has a little bit golden lining on it. That's because I accidentally break it before and it was patched back by using a Kintsugi technique. There we go, this is the second steep. So this 2019 spring version doesn't have that high aroma character like the 2018 winter version. Uh, however, the water, as we say from the very professional term, the water we process from it is very, very smooth. Uh, this a bit much smoother than the 2018 winter version and I think I think that's because the fully fermented style we put the fermentation level this tea is around 30 to 35 percent and it has a again a, a rich character much richer than the 2018 Ember Magpie. Very enjoyable. Very, very enjoyable. And my talking pace is getting slower and slower. Again, why is that? Because, okay, follow me. A properly processed traditional oolong, okay, Taiwanese style traditional oolong, will have a even stronger GABA effect than most of the GABA tea in the market. Okay, so you don't really have to to get GABA tea to have GABA effect, and we. We put that on the website, you might notice we have fermentation level, some tea we write oxidation level. The oxidated one is a more stimulating type of tea. The fermented type, fermentation level type, is a common type of tea like this cup I'm having right here. And I believe I've, I have been stating the same thing in this video for three times right now. And because I really wanted people to know, uh, we, we, we 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 paid lots of passion and attention to craft all this tea and we, we didn't craft gaba tea although we sell it but we don't craft it oh 
and it's just mind calming, not mind blowing. Yeah. And here's all. This is our Inxiang uh, Inxiang Fafrito Oolong tea right here. Uh, a little bit of backstory. If you look back to our database and website, you will see that we have a, another Inxiang. I remember Emerald Magpie back in 2018 spring. And uh, what we stupidly do is we forget to reserve some quantity for ourselves. So unfortunately, it's all gone right now. We don't have data, don't have samples to trace back anything, which is kind of sad. So we're gonna do that begin from the Ember Magpie, which is 2018 winter version. And I hope you enjoy this video. This is very relaxing tea, actually. Yeah. And it's not a great tea to start your morning in the USA or, or other place in the world, okay? Because you drink this tea, you'll be like kind of way too calm and relaxed to be in your day. Yeah. If you're doing meditation, okay, it's great. But, yeah, so we are basically at the end of the video. Uh, uh, like the comment section is still not exploded yet. Uh, we, we hope it can explode, it can be crazy, you know. Yeah. You can encourage us, you can ask questions and so on. Very, very welcome. And uh, if you are not, if you don't have subscribed, if you're not sourcing yet, please do. And uh, please definitely do subscribe to Taiwan Sourcing's channel. Uh, if you have time, because we are still like uh, 794 subscribers short from activating a live function like the one you are seeing now. So please help us. We we don't have we, we don't have Patreon, but if you want to support us, please uh, try try the tea we made. We are very confident with it. And again, thanks to Scott. This guy is a great person. Thanks to him, we have this opportunity to to do the tea for you. So that's all for now. I hope you like the tea, and uh, may Jesus may the tea be with us. Bye bye. Bye bye.